Ay ko. Tatanong ko yung pag nakakain ka na. Ah! Aray! Aray ko! Cooking with Glocko episode 3! Yay! And today's ingredients are these guys. Fresh water prawns or more locally known as ulang. These guys are a popular delicacy in Pampanga and also uh, native to Thailand. I have no idea how we got this in our rivers but these guys can now be locally caught in the Pampanga River. Particularly in Kalumpit and uh, in San Simon, Pampanga. I caught this in San Simon. So these guys are characterized by their very long horns and they are very sharp by the way. And their bluish hue that's kind of like an artwork from Japan. You know, ukiyo-e, look at that. See? Very pretty. These guys can actually grow this big, like a freaking lobster. All right. I haven't caught one of those, but one of my uh, uh, associates and fellow anglers have shown me such sizes. So, yep. There you go. So I caught a total of 11 of these guys in just one day, so pretty good. So before we start cooking, let me show you guys how I caught them. Alright, we're here in the ng ulangan. Again, we're trying to hunt for giant freshwater prawns. Today, here in, uh, in Pampanga. So the hooks I'll be using is kind of weird. Uh, these are homemade prawn hooks. Galing kay Sir Oboy, check him out. He has a channel, a swell fishing channel. He does a lot of uh, urban fishing here in the Philippines. And he gave me this. Look at that. This is made from a certain guitar string. And uh, I'll show you guys how to bait things using this one. As for the rig, we're using a Carolina rig. So, uh, a sinker right over here, the running sinker. A bead to stop it in the swivel so that it doesn't get uh, damaged the knot. And then we're gonna connect the leader with the hook right over here. Alright, so how do we bait this? Uh, we're using worms. Worms. Ito pulating puti. Courtesy of Sir Oboy din. Marami salamat. It just pierce right through the end of one, uh, one of the ends and then just follow it. Just follow the contour. Wait, wait. There you go. Yeah, Russian paper clip. Yes! Ito na siya. This is it. My first freaking ulang. Ito siya. Look at this thing. Ah! <laughs> pala siya. Galing, galing. Alright, ito siya. Look at that. Lain niya, pero ito gawin tempura. Dito siya na nahook up. Kita niya yan. That's how it looks like. Look at that guy! Alam, nakakain akong ganito sa Japan ng sashimi cell. So, pero hindi ako, anong titing gagawin ko yun ngayon? <laughs> Kasi wala akong tiwala sa mga ilog natin dito. Pero, ito siya. Alright, first catch, first catch. Magpapaipit daw ako. Dapat pag first time mo magano, magpapaipit ka daw. Ah! Aray! Aray! Ito! Aray! 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 Hindi ba grabe pala? Ito nga yan! Uy! Okay, nakadalawa na ako. Ay! I think this is bigger than the other one. Ano? Ang galing. Wala. Ah. 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 Oh yes! Port catch, babies! Ah. Here we go, boys! Pulang pula yung mata niya. Oh, nangyay tayo. Yee, yee, yee! 
This is the biggest one so far. So roster ko. Look at how blue that guy is. Ayos. Ay na sabi ko rin. Ay ko. Oh, suck it now, look at that. Shit. Good session, one yo. Oh, Yeah, boy. I'm going to get the money. I'm going to get the money. I'm going to get Please, 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 Ano to? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ang line na to. Ah, panghinayang eh. Oh, hand line. Ano? <laughs> Shimano-mano. <laughs> Hindi kasi pinasok niya sa butas niya. Eh, tumabit. Yes, sumabol pa ako. Eleven. <laughs> Kuniro ba kiro? Aray ko po! Aray! Aray kong sakit mong ano niya! Tail whip! And tapos na kami! Magpulang fishing! Final tally for me! I caught a total of 11 ulangs! Good sizes by the way! And yun lang! So I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with these But I'm gonna try and find that out pag uwi ko! Alright? So anyways, maraming salamat kina Sir Don at the Fishing Academy for inviting me here at the pagsama ko! nila sa akin, sa konsya nila and sa bakero and everything ano ang pinakamalaki ba dito? I think the biggest one was this thing you know, look at the meat on this thing guys alright, can't wait of course, I'm gonna go home bye and that's how I caught my freshwater prawns so let's get to what you guys came here for the cooking since this will be my first time cooking shrimp or prawns or whatever similar, uh, I decided to go with a very simple recipe. Something you guys are very familiar with, garlic butter shrimp. For the ingredients, you'll need these. You'll need this amount of garlic, chopped, this amount of parsley, chopped, and this amount of butter for 11 pieces of prawns. Also, you'll need lemons and of course our freshwater river prawns there you go that's all that's all you need very simple and the best thing is i won't be using a knife this time all i'll be using is this scissors so that means there's a 20 percent chance that this dish will succeed with no hitch good okay guys first step is to devein the prawn just like any shrimp Right, so the vein is somewhere around here, it goes through here, 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 here. So what a lot of people do is they cut off this part and then pull the vein from there. But what I want to try right now is using the toothpick technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pierce somewhere over here near the tail side or this segment and then pull the vein from there. All right. So what you guys want to do is you want to squeeze the prod right like this to expose one of the, the flesh and then from there you just pierce through right here there you go and this is the tricky part you uh carefully pull it out like so there you go that's the vein see that you do not want that staying in the shrimp this thing because it's gonna i don't know it's gonna give off a bad flavor or something so do that with the other shrimps 
and you should be good. Okay? Nice. Next step. Okay, so these guys are successfully deveined. All right, no more vein on their bodies. Next, we're gonna get rid of these. The horns and their spiny uh, legs as well as the tail. So it's very simple to do this. All you have to do is just get rid of this. See that? There you go. So just snip off their horns. There you go. Snip off their feet. And then these things are very sharp. See that? When you, sometimes when you catch them, they do this flapping thingy just to, you know, hurt you. So get rid of that as well. There you go. Gucci. So I'm going to do that with the others here. So give me a sec. Okay, here we go. Let's start. First off, you put the butter and you stir fry the butter in low heat. All right, low heat. Okay. Low heat that thing. And by low heat, I mean this heat. Okay? Gucci. Why in low heat? Because we do not want to burn the butter just like what I did in my first cooking video. Hey! So, while the butter is cooking and melting, you put the garlic, stir fry it as well. There you go. That's all you need. And then, you just wait for it to cook for around 2-3 to three minutes or until the garlic turns a bit brown. Alright? Gucci. Okay, two or three minutes have passed. Here we go. Put the shrimp right over there. And then you amp it up. The heat, I mean. All right. Set it to high. There you go. So the heat should be like this. And then that's where you cook it until it turns orange. There you go. Look at that. Now some people, especially Filipinos, they like to marinate the shrimp or the prawns uh, in lime juice or 7-Up or mountain juice or anything that has lemon, lemon soda. Uh, however, like I said, these prawns are naturally sweet. So I'm not going to put any lemon or I'm not going to marinate it with lemon. However, I will just maybe just put a bit of lemon. There you go. Just squeeze the freaking lemon right over there. And... Yeah. yeah, I think that should do it. Some people like to put salt, some people like to put pepper. I'll just put pepper on it. There you go. Nice. So I'll be cooking this for another minute because you don't want to cook this for too long because it's going to ruin the meat. It's going to make it tough instead of tender. So just one more minute. So probably two to three minutes of just stir frying it should do in high heat. Now during the last 30 seconds, just put your parsley here for added taste and for that vibrant colorization. This makes your appetite more you know, stimulated. Shout out to uh, Panlasang Pinoy for, <laughs> for this recipe. <laughs> last 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one and there you go voila garlic butter shrimp now some people would love to add like oyster sauce and other sauces but like i said this is my first time cooking this so let's start off with a basic recipe and now we plate it look at that nice Woo. Nice! Uh. Cool, yo. And then I'll just add this and this. And voila! All right, moment of truth, guys. Taste testing this. <laughs> All right, kakamay ako ngayon kasi wala na kami tinidor. I'll take the big one. Let's try out with the shell. All right. Hmm, juicy. Do not eat it with the shell. Matigas siya. 
coconut crunchy pero not recommended. So, isin na natin to. There you go. See that? That's the flesh. Woohoo! Oh, putik! There you go. See the flesh na? Alright, here you go. Lambot! Nice! Hmm. Isipin nyo lobster, pero mas malambot. That's the taste of this one. Not bad, huh? Nice. I'm gonna try it out with... Uh, I'm not sure kung recommended isip-sip yung ulo niya. Yeah, that's how you eat it. <laughs> Kasang lemon. <laughs> I'm not even sure what those red things are, so... Yan lang muna. Depends on the butter. Mmm, yeah. better. No! It tastes like lobster, pero mas, uh, mas malambot. Parang yung batang ano yun, yung... Know. Oh! <laughs> well, Leland's eating it, so that means it's good. It's good, probably. Just like shrimp! There you go. Nice. See? You can place it on your fingers. Some water. I saw it now. Freaking doing it. I feel like I'm gonna have an allergic reaction <laughs> to this fucking thing, dude. Stop playing with the food and eat it, man. What, Lorenzo? You know, uh... The head is nice. Of course it is. Mmm. The head is always nice. Look at this. You know, fun fact, shrimps are the cockroach of the ocean. True. That's true. So like, you know, it those... makes me think na if <laughs> binoil mo yung cockroach, mm. baka ganito din yung texture ng... No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually guys, if true. anything, if I wanna try it with a sweeter and savory sauce instead of butter. Feeling ko lang, it's gonna taste a lot better with a sweeter sauce. Like oyster sauce or sweet and sour. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, you can do that. It tastes so basic. <laughs> it tastes so basic. <laughs> it tastes like shrimp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sobrang basic na lasa niya with a hint of lemon. But that's it. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for uh, joining me here in episode 3. Uh, watch out for episode 4 with whatever we're going to cook. Uh, the next time I'm gonna catch ulang, we're gonna try a different uh, type of recipe. Particularly, tempura. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.